Mary Lee Sandy Aliak has a one-month-old baby. Usually, she never makes a fuss. The last four days, she's been um, crying a little bit more, fussing quite a bit more. I'm wondering, like, you know, did she get side effects? Baby Amka is on formula that gets prepared with water, meaning until a few days ago, she was consuming the contaminated supply coming from the taps. Her 18-year-old brother has also been having headaches and feeling dizzy. They don't know if the water is to blame, and they're looking for public health guidance. Uh, I really hope the side effects are going to be put out there. These and um, what kind of treatment we can have? How can we clear our system? Residents are still waiting for the water to be tested out of territory. So Sandy Aliak has filled her kitchen with water bought from the grocery store or gathered from the river and boiled. But with five kids and a dog, it's a lot of work and costs are mounting. Now having purchased three hundred dollars worth of juice and water for the kids. I mean, what am I, I, how, how am I going to survive the week after that? Like, you know, I've only got enough for one week. Many people in Akaluit are turning to the local food center for help. It's serving a record number of people this week. There's a really strong correlation between food security and water security. So even if people do have access to affordable, healthy food, if they don't have clean water to wash their food or cook their food with, um, then they're, they're coming here for the daily meal. This city has struggled with water issues for years. Melting permafrost has shifted the city water pipes, causing them to break. The mayor suspects that's what's to blame for this crisis. It's most likely caused by uh, climate change and the, the, ground, the ground shifting and uh, maybe the tank getting um, uh, cracked. This expert has studied a Chaluit's water system and says a significant investment in water resources is needed because of the changing environment. This is a singular incident um, and that there is a broader water security challenge for many northern and indigenous communities in Canada. That broader discussion on water security, um, that, ha that has to happen. The government of Nunavut days before an election has declared a state of emergency here. A move it says will speed up additional help. Another plane full of water is expected to arrive soon. Jackie McKay, CBC News, Halloween.